Title, Life Cycle Assessment, LCA, Beginner's Guide Welcome to our Complete Beginner's Guide to Life Cycle Assessment, or LCA. In this video, we'll break down what LCA is, its stages, and how it helps us understand the environmental impact of products and processes. So, let's get started. What is LCA? Life Cycle Assessment, or LCA, is a systematic approach to evaluating the environmental impacts of a product, process, or service throughout its entire life cycle. This means considering all stages, from the extraction of raw materials to production, use, and eventual disposal. Why is LCA important? N. LCA is crucial because it helps us make informed decisions to reduce our ecological footprint. By analyzing the environmental impacts of various options, we can identify ways to minimize harm to our planet. The Product Life Cycle in LCA If we want to assess the life cycle of a product, we have to first define what that life cycle actually consists of. Different Life Cycle Models Based on the stages you're interested in or have data available on, you can choose to leave in or take out phases. There are usually four product life cycle models you can choose for your LCA. Cradle to Grave when you analyze a product's impact along the five product life cycle steps, this is called cradle to grave. Cradle being the inception of the product with the sourcing of the raw materials, grave being the disposal of the product. Transportation is mentioned as step three, but can, in reality, occur in between all steps. Cradle to gate. Cradle to gate only assesses a product until it leaves the factory gates before it is transported to the consumer. This means cutting out the use and disposal phase. Cradle-to-gate analysis can significantly reduce the complexity of an LCA and thus create insights faster, especially about internal processes. Cradle-to-gate assessments are often used for environmental product declarations, EPD. Environmental product declarations, EPD. Environmental product declarations are standardized certifications of a life cycle assessment used mostly to verify impact data from business to business. Cradle to Cradle Cradle to Cradle is a concept often referred to within the circular economy. It is a variation of cradle to grave, exchanging the waste stage with a recycling process that makes it reusable for another product, essentially closing the loop. This is why it is also referred to as closed loop recycling. Gate to Gate Gate-to-gate -gate is sometimes used in product life cycles, with many value-adding processes in the middle. To reduce complexity in the assessment, only one value-added process in the production chain is assessed. These assessments can later be linked together to complete a larger level life cycle assessment. Well-to-wheel Well-to-wheel is used for the life cycle assessment of transport fuels and vehicles. Because there are a lot of steps in between the well-to-tank and tank-to-wheels, this approach is more precise in calculating and assigning greenhouse gas emissions and energy usage for the different stages. Five Steps of a Product Life Cycle, From Cradle to Grave We will talk about different concepts of the product life cycle in just a moment, but generally, the product life cycle consists of five phases. The Five Steps of a Product Life Cycle, Cradle to Grave 1. Raw Material Extraction 2. Manufacturing and Processing 3. Transportation 4. Usage and Retail 5. Waste Disposal The Stages of LCA Now, let's delve into the stages of LCA. Stage 1 Goal and Scope Definition The first stage is Goal and Scope Definition. Here, we define the purpose of the assessment and the boundaries of what will be analyzed. We decide which environmental indicators to focus on, such as greenhouse gas emissions, water use, or energy consumption. Stage 2 Life Cycle Inventory LCI is the life cycle inventory. In this step, we gather data on all inputs and outputs for each stage of the product's life cycle. This includes raw materials, energy, emissions, and waste. Stage 3 Life Cycle Impact Assessment, LCIA This stage involves the Life Cycle Impact Assessment, or LCIA. Here, we evaluate the environmental impacts associated with each input and output identified in the LCI. 
we use various impact categories, like global warming potential or water scarcity, to assess these impacts. Stage 4 Interpretation The fourth stage is interpretation. In this step, we analyze the results of the LCIA and draw conclusions. We consider trade-offs and uncertainties, which are crucial for making informed decisions. Stage 5 Reporting Finally, Stage 5 is reporting. Here, we communicate the findings of the LCA to stakeholders, such as policymakers, consumers, or business partners. Clear and transparent reporting is essential for driving change and sustainability. Benefits of LCA LCA offers several benefits. It helps us identify hotspots in a product's life cycle, enabling targeted improvements. It also supports eco-labeling and sustainable product design, which can boost a company's reputation and marketability. Conclusion In conclusion, life cycle assessment is a valuable tool for assessing the environmental impact of products and processes. By following its stages, we can make more informed decisions, reduce our ecological footprint, and contribute to a more sustainable future. Thank you for joining us on this beginner's journey into life cycle assessment. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. And as always, remember that small changes can make a big difference in our efforts to protect the environment.